Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to one more weekly add-on review. Um, today I'll be talking of the add-on that I already reviewed two weeks past, one month past, uh, which is Extreme PBR by Angel Donetti, uh, sold on Blender Market. And as uh, I'll be giving 20% off again if you insert the code CAREB. Um, all caps on Blender Market, you have 20% off. Uh, we are reaching 3,000 subscribers on this channel, and I really want to thank you guys for that, uh, for subscribing to the content and accompanying me in this journey. Uh, he added 200 materials uh, more to its current collection here. Uh, so now we have 800 materials uh, to the to the pack. Some of them are really good optimizations of the, the past materials. The material library is revamped. Uh, now we have grunge materials, uh, which is really good to add variation, realism. They can add be added in conjunction with the additive blending mode uh, to be added in multiply, uh, to multiply on top of other materials and things like that. Really good. Uh, also some floors. Uh, the cobblestone section is really good. We have now more paving differentiations for interior, exterior, uh, new cobblestone things. Also with a new refresh button here to quickly switch your materials. And uh, now we have finally UV editing uh, directly on the viewport. So we can change here the X and Y coordinates directly. Something I have asked on the, the last uh, episode that I reviewed this add on. So, really good. It can be accessed when you are on the edit mode. Okay. So, if you're on object mode, it doesn't appear. And also we have a new save management, which are a way that you can customize your materials and save your versions of those materials. And this custom library can be set. The file path can be set here in the settings, add-ons, extreme PBR, add your folder. Uh, so here I set it up on the desktop really quickly. Regardless of that, um, there are new things, especially on the on the facades uh, materials. Uh, a really a little uh, heads up of mine. I think that materials such as this ones, uh, the cage ones, uh, the woods, some things that you, you some materials that you're gonna be seeing from a far distance, they really don't require a displacement map. Okay especially the facades one, because uh, the facades uh, you're going to apply on buildings to simulate a kind of a, a night time, right? And we have different types of windows here. Uh, therefore, I really don't see any reason for them having a displacement map. A little bit of consideration here. And, but yeah, so far so good, really good update. I really like the the new materials uh, and comment down below why do you think this this add-on should be improved Andrew will be listening to you guys and he's doing his best to uh, come up with good ideas and to help you guys in, in uh, fastening your production but that's it guys uh, hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to checking out the channel um, Next episode of Building a City in Blender will be air next Friday. And I hope you guys to see you guys there. It's a personal series I'm doing. And uh, I'm putting all my knowledge of environment art on that. So check that out. I'll be selling the assets on Gun Road after. And um, hit a like below. And go to my Twitter page too. I have some content there. Maybe you, you'll like it. Until next time, see ya!